In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the tweaks I've done to my $600 gaming laptop so that I would be able to run Fortnite at a consistent 120 to 144 FPS. They also allow me to hit clips like this. I haven't adjusted too many settings because I don't want to mess up my computer, but I've changed a few things like limiting my FPS and putting a few settings to performance so that my computer can run to the best of its ability. Obviously, you want to make sure your Xbox game bar is off because there's a setting here that allows you to record in the background and you obviously do not want to have recording in the background. It'll hinder your FPS, it'll cause you to lag more, and your gameplay when you try recording will look very laggy. What you want to do now is you want to go to advanced system settings. You're going to just search it up and it should pop up. You go to advanced system settings and I already have it open. So what you want to do here is you want to go under advanced and you want to go under performance and you want to go to adjust for best performance. But I have showed thumbnails on instead of icons on because I do need to see what video I'm pressing when I'm trying to send myself clips to my Google Drive. So I like to keep the thumbnail of my files on. Something a lot of people forget to do when getting a new laptop is changing the power options. So what you want to do is you want to switch a power choose power plan and you always want to have it at ultimate performance if you use balance your games aren't going to run to the best of their ability so it's always better to have it on ultimate performance for gaming so i'm going to show you guys the settings i have here in fortnite obviously i'm playing on performance mode i like to keep vsync off i don't know why i have it on right now but it's because you know how every time you launch the game sometimes your settings reset but i have vsync off usually i keep this off but obviously my settings reset I keep everything on low and usually I have my FPS on. A bunch of you always ask what my sense is. So you guys can see that this is my updated sense that I use now. Some of the other settings that I have as well. I also keep energy saving off because it reduces your FPS when you're inactive. So there's really no point to have it on. I would very strongly recommend using stretch resolution when you're playing on a budget laptop like mine. When you're using stretch res, you have less pixels on your screen and this can reduce input delay and help your overall mechanics. I have a tutorial posted up in the corner if you guys want to see it. Lastly, what's even worse than having low FPS is having high ping. So I recommend buying an ethernet cable so you can play to the best of your ability. 